All right, y'all, we're less than 40 seconds away from the most hype celebration of the year on Dragon Ball Legends. Obviously, it's GT. Gotta be something GT themed anyway. Probably a tag character. The previews looked like Omega Shinron. Um, the other one I wasn't totally sure on. As far as my last second guesses, assuming we get two LFs today, please Legends still maintain that level of hype with two LFs. Uh, I'm gonna throw something out there. Again, TOP related like an LF Goku and Frieza. And then lastly, in orange, Piccolo and it is Legends Fest time. Hey, also, I just did a new merch drop. It's called the Realm of Gods drop because the hoodies and the t-shirts say Realm of Gods. And when you order a t-shirt or a hoodie, the t-shirt or hoodie will come in this packaging right here, which is a Nanogenics booster pack. And it is totally sealed because when you open it, you're gonna get revealed whether you got a red foil, a blue foil, or a hollow foil. Again, t-shirt or hoodie, depending on which one you ordered. You can find these at shop genix.com or click the link down below in the description this is my latest merch drop again arrives in this which is resealable you can actually reseal it back up after you've opened it once so it does come in like a collector's edition booster pack design bag um so check these out for yourselves down below so excited about these and then when you get them in film yourself opening them and tag me on instagram or twitter uh and let me see what you guys got it's super exciting uh and, and i love it it's just a ton of fun opening these is to reveal whether you got red foil blue foil or hollow foil so thank you guys for the awesome reception on these so far and i thought i'd let everybody that play legends know because we haven't made a legends video yet wait that you want most you wait ui and, and gogeta oh yes take a look at this is it time oh god here we go it's time Oh. Okay. All the Legends Fest characters. Yep. But who's next? Ooh, buff. Sorry. Maju. Ultra Omega Shinron. Wait. I thought this was going to be the Ultra, but it's not. Android 17. Oh, 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 dude. He's the he's the red to blue. Oh, my gosh. Plus. The strongest tag. Oh, it's happening. Let's go. Oh, 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 my God. Look at look at him. Look at him. Hey, let's go! Oh, 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 oh! Oh my God, it looks so good. Oh, dude, I'm so, dude, this is like, <laughs> like my most anticipated unit this unit. Oh my God! Oh, dude! Oh my god, dude. I knew we could do it. The battles are about to heat up. Dude, look at dude, that was so sick. What? Oh my gosh. Tag With that, LF. Extreme Omega Shenron and Maju. Sparking Android 17 and Legends Limited Super Saiyan 4. Oh, that's Goku a, and Vegeta did, are coming to Legends. Did so I say new characters is coming extreme? Into the Red Red are all from Dragon Ball GT. Absolutely. We also bookended the Dragon Ball Super superhero movie campaign in October by giving a so, number of existing so GT what characters I buffs. So what I thought was happening was parties popping up. they were doing the thing from now, last year where it's like a build-up. Let's take a look at some of the gameplay you know? footage. I thought it was going to be a build up. And so that's why I thought like they were showing us Maju from like last year. And I thought that was going to be Ultra Omega Shinron. Okay, this is actually a cool character. I won't even lie. Is it? No way. But that's all, he, that's all they did. I mean, I guess he doesn't do. He doesn't really do a lot, does he? He doesn't really do a ton. So I guess that's kind of fair. At long last, I have ascended. Well done, you made me. Jeez, dude, is about to be the coolest character in this game, bro. 
dark enough without you. So it's time to put the Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. I want, dude, I wonder what their typing is about to be. Okay, so. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Oh my. <laughs> oh, dude, let's see him stand up here. I knew we could do it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> dude. Now, let's go. Let's the abilities for these new sparking characters. First, we have Android okay, so 17. purple. This character has plenty of ways to sabotage enemies and support allies while being able to get a substantial increase Here we go, so I'm not covering it. in the middle of battle. Depending on how many times oh, Android damage inflicted against Sun Family or Android. Battle, enemies will be inflicted with increased damage received or even increased arts costs. And when this he reduces damage on 60%. Standby, That's pretty substantial, by the way. Enemy arts cards while restoring ally key and increasing their damage inflicted. So you can stop your enemies in their tracks while giving allies some valuable support. Plus, according to the number of timer counts elapsed from the battle start, Android 17's damage inflicted and arts card draw speed will increase, which means this also like that card can art. put on a mean display of power midway through a fight. Moving on, we have They're Super green. Saiyan 4, Goku and Vegeta. This is a powerful attacker that's oh able my to gosh. dish out heavy hits and devastating combos. Both Goku and Vegeta's special move arts are incredibly strong. Freaking A, dude. With endurance nullification effects upon activation and increase uh, they're in green. power depending on how many arts <laughs> the cards beast are Gohan destroyed. Counter. So they really pack a punch right from the get-go. Goku specializes in high-powered single strikes. And if you tag switch from Vegeta, you'll draw a special move arts card and get a huge increase to critical rate giving Goku the opportunity to dish out a crazy amount of firepower in an instant. On the other hand, Vegeta is more focused on stringing together combos with a permanent increase to arts card draw speed. What? Plus, if you tag switch from Goku, Vegeta's draw speed will increase even more, meaning this character is a combo machine that can charge the switch gauge Oh in my time. gosh. That brings us to the end of the character reveals, but not the end of the news. Check this out. Okay. The Japanese Dragon Ball GT's opening yeah. theme, Dan Dan as we Kukuri, as as we heard in the reveal heard in the promo video just before, will be featured in Legends for a limited time. That's going to make battle even more exciting. You're right about that. Even if you usually have the game on mute, be sure to turn up the volume for this iconic theme song. Moving on, take a look at this. No, nope. not for me, Toshi. Legends Battle Royale GT. It was interesting that there was a Gogeta, SJ4 Gogeta there, though, on those card arts. Take a look at this. Let's see it, Toshi. What you got for us? The blood of the defeated. The blood of the tainted. All will be. Oh, snap, dude. How are they going to. Is he a new free to play unit? You're nothing. Finally, oh my god, it's both of them. It's it's freaking both of them. Okay. They're gonna be free though, right? Training pays off. I, I can't I can't tell just yet. Are they free? They're free, right? As you just saw, two of Legend's original characters, the Saiyan in red and Zaha are coming as playable characters. We okay. can finally use these two characters whenever we want. Zaha was partially playable in the main story, but I've always wanted to use them in other modes. Yeah, I imagine for like four years. Players <laughs> the same way. We've always wanted to make them fully fledged characters, so we're very happy that we're finally able to make this happen during the Legends Festival. Okay. Now, let's take a look at their abilities. The Saiyan in red is a ranged attacker with high defenses. In addition to having a base reduction to damage received, 
It will also temporarily reduce here, I'll, even let me take my face off the screen for a second here so we, Plus, you can see it better. To restore health after an enemy attack is over, Episode this game original. and return the favor in the early stages of battle. This character will inflict a number of these debuffs when entering the battlefield. And when returning to standby, they'll restore ally health and key, as well as inflict all enemies with damage received up. The effects of Zaha's special arts will change depending on how many times it's used, ranging from increasing damage inflicted by allies to nullifying attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions. Use Zaha to dish out an assortment of buffs and debuffs before switching to an attacker to unleash your assault and bring home the victory. And the back of what he does in the main story will be reflected in his abilities too. That's right. By the way, how can players get their hands on the Saiyan in yeah, this is, and Zaha? This is a really important question. For both can be obtained by progressing through the main story. Ah. I wish we could keep talking, but it's about time for us to wrap up. Before we go, was there anything else you wanted to say? <laughs> there is. We want to start by thanking everyone for playing. Oh Dragon my Ball gosh, Legends. y'all are playing we with us, bro. Sure you know, you know how much I'll do the one extra thing. Once a year festival as enjoyable for all of you as possible. There. <laughs> so by all means, get out there and have a blast with this year's Legends Festival. And with that, it's time to sign off. Don't forget, the Legends Festival starts tomorrow. Thanks for watching today's I don't broadcast. think there's one more thing and right now. To see all of you but that's sort of video. been their thing. Bye. Bye. So to like kind of almost toy with us is kind of mean. I won't hold you. Ah, uh, see, I'm telling you, I won't lie. That, I'll, I'll tell you, tell you if you happen to watch this, the way you tease that bugs me a little bit. I'll just say it because as much as the culture has been around the one more thing in this, having him keep asking and make it seem like there's gonna be one more thing and now there's not one more thing let me just let this play out surely there's no way yeah no not 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 <laughs> all right that is it um i won't lie i i'm I, it, it disappoints me a little bit that they're not just sticking with the normal formula i like getting two characters i don't know if that's me maybe i'm just an old head old school i like being able to get two characters at once i think there's, that's more exciting um, and I won't lie, I was really holding out for a fusion mechanic on the on the LFS and Shea Forest. I do still think it's probably coming, but um, I guess they decided they wouldn't do it just yet. So who knows? Maybe another character that will be somewhere in this is going to be maybe you know a, a, a fusion a fusion style character. But they are really sticking to this new this new layout. It's interesting. Anyways, that's it for me. Go pick up the merch at shopmanagings.com. Again, it comes to this super special thing. Appreciate you guys. Click the link in the description. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.